How's it going, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Caller, and you're about to watch another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Battle video. Thank you guys for watching this upload here. And um, I finally got some matches to post to the channel, so hype. Uh, it's October, it's a new month, I'm here to rise to power, as they say. So this is a passerby challenger I'm facing today, named Lalo, and I'm using a really interesting OU team. So from left to right, we have a defensive Rotom Bosch. This is World Splash. Has the uh, Volt Switch, Will Wisp, uh, Pain Split, and Hydro Pump set. And it's designed to burn something and uh, volt switch out, going to something more offensively orientated to, you know, get some momentum going. Uh, pretty much your time is there to gain a little bit more uh, support for the team and just gain momentum back on your side of the field. So hopefully that works out, uh, you know, because sometimes it will not work. Then we have our Mega be Mega Camera up in this battle. I've never used a Mega Camera up like pretty much at all because you think that Mega Sharpedo is a lot better, but no, I mean Mega Camera up is really good. It has the tools to be a surprise Mega for many people when using him. He has access to Stealth Rock. Iron Head to hit Fairy Types, um, Lava Plume, Overheat, Nature Power as its new uh, move that a lot of people don't realize they can get. Nature Power is really awesome. I used it before, um, and it's really catching people off guard. Now we have a Choice Specs Ridiculous. This is a Cerebrali, and uh, Choice Specs Ridiculous hits insanely hard. I was seeing, like, what kind of special attackers I should have on this team besides uh, Mega Camera Up. And I thought, oh, Ridiculous is good because it provides a lot of psychic uh, moves to aim at, like, fighting types because fighting types don't really work. It hits us pretty hard, actually. Uh, so having a psychic type is really good. And then we have a uh, defensive cane growth. And I was watching uh, a YouTuber use a cane growth, and I was like, I got to use this. So this cane growth has a sleep powder. It has hidden power fire. It's got focus blast, which I regret using. Because, you know, Focus Blast, it misses for me a lot. I do not have Knock Off, which I really regret having. I really should have had this move on Kangrove. As you go for Knock Off, you Knock Off an item. And that's really good for catching walls that have leftovers or maybe offensive Pokemon that have, like, a thing to set up with. I don't have that move. It's unfortunate. Then we have Scrafty, and Scrafty is uh, another Pokemon that I don't really use that much. This is a bulk up set, so uh, com compare that to a Dragon Dance Scrafty. Bulk up, gra uh, bulk up Scrafty is a nice Pokemon because it bulks up its attack and defense, and it hits you pretty hard with Drain Punch and Crunch. And then you, if you want more power, just bring high jump kick to the table and you hit something really hard, you're going to hit something and just get all the momentum on your side. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Doublade, and that's the secondary stage of Aegis Slash, and Aegis Slash is banned, but Doublade has the Eevee like, uh, which... Eevee like Doublade, I've used this thing on Showdown, it's really good. Unfortunately, I do not have a Sword Stance. So, because without Sword Stance, Double Blade cannot really hit something. It cannot one hit KO anything unless you set up a Sword Stance. So, my opponent here, Lalo, has Charizard. 
Shazard S or Y, we'll see. Uh, Mega Garchomp, maybe. Could be a regular Garchomp. He has a Gengar, he has a Gallade, and Luxray, and a Kiss. So, uh, Shazard Y actually hits everything for some damage. I'm not really prepared to face a Shazard Y. So he does start out with Shazard. And I'm going to start with Roll Splash. I was hoping Charizard X right here on the start of the battle. And it's a Charizard Y. So that's a little unfortunate as I go for Volt Switch. Or I was going to go for Volt Switch. But we all know that Charizard Y will outspeed me and just KO me with a Solar Beam. I could have uh, switched out in the camera up there. But then I had to contend a Focus Blast or a Drought Boosted uh, Fire-type move. I don't want to be in that scenario. So, unfortunately, Rotom didn't really do anything. And I just I wanted to use it so badly, but I failed. So that's a defensive Pokemon down. I go into Vesuviano, the Mega Camera. He does have Focus Blast. I was like, okay, that's pretty bad, because... I don't know if a Focus Blast would KO me, but he misses yet another Focus Blast. It's called Focus Miss, guys. Don't use that move unless you really want to use it and risk being uh, able to miss that occasionally. So a Fire Boosted um, Fire Blast actually almost gives Charizard Y there, which is pretty amazing. Expecting another Focus Blast to go into Night, and we Barely miss on the KO with the Shadow Sneak. Like I said, we cannot KO anything unless we set up a Swords Dance. I actually don't have Swords Dance in my game yet, which really sucks. So Heat Wave boosted in the sun, plus Mega Charizard Wise, amazing uh, special attack. It's going to KO Light. So that's another Pokemon I just, I need to use it, and we don't get to use it. So he gets to bring in Garchomp, and that's a great play because of Rough Skin. Rough Skin will just do some damage to Vesuviano here. The Mega Camera which looks really amazing, uh, by the way. We're going to Head Funny. Head Funny is the uh, Tang Growth here. Tang Growth is really bulky on the physical side. We don't take much from the Earthquake. We resist it, and... We have leftovers as well. We also have a uh, leech seed, which means if we go for leech seed, we'll take some of the opposing Pokemon's HP and we get to restore ours in the process. Now, I think he forgot about Stealth Ops as he tried bringing in Charizard once again, but the Stealth Ops are up, so that means we could KO Charizard. So that's a good thing there. Unfortunately, he does have Togekiss Angel. Togekiss, I know from experience, can get Air Slash, can go for Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, all those moves to hit Tangrowth with. So we go going to Cerebrali, and that's my Reticlus. And uh, this is Choice Specs. I have to lock myself into one move here. And I chose to go with Psyshock. Fortunately, the Air Slash does not flinch. If he flinched me, then Reaglist wouldn't have done anything as well. We don't want to have that happen. Now, for some reason, I thought I had Regenerator this battle, but I have Magic Guard. So that was a, a massive fail there on my part. I go back into Vesuviano, hoping I could take an air slash a little bit better than I end up taking it. But we do force out the code kiss, so that's a good thing, right? He goes back into Cynthia. Right there, I should have gone with a Earth Power or a Fire Blast. But I go for another Iron Head. I was thinking he might stay in there, go for the kill with the air slash there, but that's neither here nor there. He gets to bring back in Garchomp. I have to go back into Headphony, and my opponent knows that, so he goes for an Outrage, even even though the Outrage is coming. Headphony is bulky enough to take a couple of those. So, and this Headphony has Regenerators, so that's a good thing, right? So we see another Outrage hit 
hopefully I just go for a leech seed so I can get some of our health back than the leftovers. Don't get me wrong though, because the leftovers is going to help me out. But with the leech seed up, this is going to work out perfectly. Now for some weird reason, I went for a hidden power fire. And of course, dragon types don't really mind that. It's not going to be super effective. I go for it anyway. My guess is that at one point in the match where I was like, oh, it's hidden power ice. Wrong, it's hidden power fire. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we hope that the weak seed will take out Garchomp. And he just holds on with like one HP. And that means we have to switch out and get the Regenerator boost and uh, go back into Vesuviano. It's really unfortunate because there's the risk of a move coming, but the confusion is going to help us out there. So you call that lucky? Yes, I would say that we were lucky because he had a 50% chan chance to hit me. He gets to go into Gengar, and I know Gengar will outspeed me because it's a Gengar. Vesuvian, though, has no speed investment. It's really slow in general. Base speed of, like, 20 or something. About the same as uh, Ferrothorn. But this is okay by me because I get to go into Gang V, and this is my Scrafty, and this thing has really good special defense. So... We see a Thunderbolt. It's not a stab or anything. And we actually take that really well. So a crunch will outspeed. Wow. This crunch will KO G the Gengar. We do outspeed it. I kind of said it wrong there, but we outspeed the Gengar and we hit him with a crunch. There we go. Unfortunately, we have to face Gallade. And this thing has close combat and that is going to easily finish off Scrafty. So Scrafty, uh, even though he got a critical hit, you actually did something, so I like it when my Pokemon do something and then they can just go down. That's how I see it. I don't know about you guys. So realizing that I have Ken Growth left, uh, he gets a critical hit close combat and that kind of seals the match, especially when I miss that sleep powder there. That's just not looking too good there. So this match is almost over. I need to figure out a way to, you know, get back into this match. I don't have that much Pokemon left. I have, like, Headphony and then uh, one other Pokemon. So uh, we do switch out, which is great. He goes to the Luxray. Uh, Cerebrali is here as well. He goes for Quick Attack. And I very obviously live it, and we go for a Psy Shock. But Psyshock is not going to KO Luxray. It's choice specs. It's it's powerful enough. But I underestimated the power and Luxray's defense, I guess. I don't know. But the Regenerator is back. He has Ice Fang, but I'm hoping I don't get frozen. Because I know I can take a couple of those. I go for Focus Blast and we miss or we don't miss it rather. Which is good, because then we can Hit Luxray and we finish him off. And you guys know me, I don't hit Focus Blast all that much. So you call that a nice moment there. And like I said, Togekiss is going to come in and just finish me off with a dazzling gleam. So that was a great battle, even though I lost. I got to learn something about my Pokemon and their sets. I need to change a couple of things. I will have a different battle using the same team with adjustments made. So stay tuned for that. And look at that. We've got the uh, the thumbnail for this video. Really awesome, right? Um, so yeah, great battle by me and Lalo. I need to uh, change a couple of moves on a couple of Pokemon there, especially Knight with Sword Stance. I have to change Tangrowth. Um, moves there with knock off. I need to put that move on him. And I don't know about Whirl Splash the Rotom. I need to change something because it didn't work out the first battle. So, and like I said, I have another battle against, I believe, Subi on Twitter. So stay tuned for that match. And make sure if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, goodbye, trainers.